welcome back to my channel. My name is Shawnique Martinez. What's up guys? Hello, if this is your first time checking me out, definitely join the crazy fam. Stop what you're doing. Hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified anytime that I do any type of uploads. So today, if you can't already tell by the title, we are going to jump into the KKW Fragrance Essential Nudes. I'm going to be honest, I had absolutely no intention on picking up any KKW fragrances. I purchased one when she did the collab with her sisters. I actually purchased that a few times last year or the first year of COVID, I want to say. Yeah, but um, after that, I honestly didn't have any intention on purchasing any other fragrances of hers. I do like her skim stuff, but... As far as the fragrances were concerned, I didn't, it wasn't like, oh yeah, I'm going to pick that up. And on top of that, she comes out with so much stuff. I feel like the Kardashians in general, they come out with so much stuff. So it's hard to kind of keep up with them. But I was following a lady on uh, Instagram and she said that these went on Ulta for $10 and they did. They went on sale for Ulta for 10 bucks. I want to say it lasted like maybe an hour, but I was able to get these for $10. I didn't know if it was a glitch in the system or not. So I was hoping they didn't cancel my order, but actually they did not. It was a whole bunch of other fragrances that she has as well that went on sale during this time. So you saw a bunch of 10 and $15 items. So the first one I picked up is the nude sand and I picked up the nude silk. So I didn't see any reviews online or anything like that. So it was just kind of like, girl, you're out here by yourself. So the first one that I will go over is the Nude Sand. It comes in a box like this. You pull this out. It's very sleek. The bottle is like extremely wavy, cute, and very simple. No name, no nothing. The retail price is 40 bucks. So you get 40, for $40, you get one fluid ounce, which is 30 mLs. It is an EDP. And it comes like this. So the back of the bottle does, I will not the back of the bottle, the back of the box has a description of the fragrance. It says a intimate scent that invokes images of tender petals, gazing soft skin, a caring floral boutique of delicate rose, beige peony, and white freesia are wrapped in clouds of ambriate and balmy tonka absolute. So... Those are the notes that are in this bottle. Like I said, it is on Ulta.com. It retails for $40. They say that it is in the floral family. Obviously, you can tell from the back of the box. Uh, the scent type is floral wood musky. So the middle notes are the peony and the white freesia. Uh, the top note is the amaret, accord, mandarin, the rose. And then the base is the Roasted Tonka Absolute and the Skin Musk. So I actually wore both of these. So I did take some notes on how they actually wore and how they dried down. When you first spray it on, you get the... You get like a soft, powdery floral scent to me. That's what it smells like on my skin. It's not too overpowering, but I feel like this is a fragrance that you would have fun layering because it's not too strong, but it's soft enough to where if you do layer it with the perfect fragrance that you won't smell like you just walked out of a flower shop and then when it finally lays down like dries down you get a lot of that rose peony smell um i am getting the hints of the white freesia in there you kind of get the amber it too but it's just to me it's just like a very clean floral smell it's not too heavy you don't smell like an old woman when you wear it but it's definitely like a mature smell that you wouldn't necessarily see somebody in their 20s wearing 
if that makes sense. So I actually probably would repurchase this again. It's not overpowering. I don't think people would come around me sneezing. Um, they'll probably be like, oh, you smell good. Actually what it is and move on. They're not going to dwell on it. Some people might not even acknowledge it because it's just not a strong, strong smell. I will say the wear time on both of these, they did last a really long time. I was actually surprised for 40 bucks. However, these are EDPs, so they should last a little bit longer. But it did last very long. I feel like you will be able to layer this. If you're a layering girl, because I know people like to throw on like multiple fragrances at one point in time. Yes, this is the product for you. But it also smells nice and soft if you want to like say, oh, you smell good or leave your scent, but you don't want to leave a a, a strong lingering scent the next one is the nude silk this also retails for 40 bucks the packaging is the same the bottles are very basic they don't say much either this one i will say spraying it on like a piece of paper or something and versus you obviously it's always going to smell different but when it dries down and as you wear it longer, the scent is bomb.com. Like, I absolutely love this scent. So getting into this one, this one also has a description on the back of the box as well. So it says, a deep and balmy floral scent drenched in the sensual nectars of juicy ripe peach. So keep that in mind. If you are a peach wearer, you like the peach scent on fragrances, once this dries down, you do get that scent. You do pick that peach up after a while. It took me a while to realize that's what I was smelling, but that's what you smell. Fresh green leaves and sparkling bagmont introduced to a sheer peony signature, creating a touchable feminine addiction that is only further impressed by solar heat and white woods so this is definitely the fragrance that will age very well it, it ages well going to the website for a full just description it is a floral fragrance family as well it's considered a fruity floral um, you get the green leaves the bagmont as the top notes the middle note is the peony honeysuckle peach nectar and then base is the solar accord white wood and then the musk like i said when you first get this on it doesn't compare to how it ages it ages fairly well once it dries down so on first sight you do get the peach but it's like bam that's all you smell the first time and so when i first sprayed it on i was like i was like i'm not gonna like this i'm not gonna like this and then as it started to dry down and really just soak into my skin i started to pick up the greenness the green leaviness and then i also started to pick up As weird as it sounds, you pick up the sparkleness, the like, you would smell this and be like, oh yeah, that's a sparkling wine or that's a sparkling peach. Like you would, you get that sparkle and it's so feminine. Oh my gosh. It's, it's, it's a great fragrance. Like I absolutely like it. It's definitely for, it's for the mature crowd, but I also feel like if you're in your late 20s, maybe mid to late 20s, you would still pick this up. It just has like, it, it's that scent. It's, it ages really, really well. So I overall, out of the two fragrances, I would probably repurchase both, but I would say if you were on the fence of like picking one or the other, if you are just hands down a fruity floral girl, this is the one to go with because it does age very, very well. It's very feminine. It's a little more stronger. I wouldn't necessarily layer this one with anything. If you are looking for a fragrance that is a floral scent, it's clean, a clean floral scent smell, but you do want to layer 
or you just want a hint of something, nude sand is definitely the way to go. I would recommend this to anybody, especially if you're not a heavy fragrance, fragrance wearer. This is actually a really clean, low-key smell. So I will say she probably does have fragrances for everybody just based off of these two. I know her nude collection, I want to say there's four in there. So if you guys are thinking about purchasing these, I would stop at Ulta, see if you can test these out and see which ones you like. She does have options, I feel like, for everybody if you are in the floral family. But sound off in the comment section if you were thinking about purchasing these or if you snagged these up while they were $10. Tell me which ones you picked up. And I will see y'all in the next review. Bye.